Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction for Children. All the readings also flow as the text in the animation on the screen. Narration is supported with images. To all the children that care for our world, they are the real superheroes. On the globe, a girl and a male superhero boy with a big, cute hat and a with cape on. Each year, 175 million children around the world are affected by disasters. In 2014 alone, disasters and emergencies forced 9 million girls and boys out of school. The superhero boy is sad. You have a lot to tell adults about the specific risks and dangers where you live and a lot to contribute to making families, schools and communities safer before and after a crisis. The family disappears. The boy is left alone. Children who understand dangers, who are empowered and listened to, can play an important role in their own protection. When children speak out and their needs are prioritised, they contribute to long-term development after a disaster and build safer communities for everyone. This booklet is about disaster risk reduction, working together to reduce the chance that a hazard will turn into a disaster and preparing for disasters when they do happen. Ambulance ahead, followed by the fire truck. Disaster risk reduction should happen at the level of national government, local government and in your communities and families. It means engaging and listening to everyone, children and young people, and especially those who are often left out. Worldwide, people are becoming aware of the importance of disaster risk reduction. Governments from different countries came together in 2015 to agree on a 15-year plan to make the world safer. It's called the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction because the meeting took place in a city called Sendai in Japan. Japanese flag. This booklet will help you and your friends understand the Sendai Framework and the important role you have in making sure the plan becomes a reality. Before we talk about the Sendai framework, we need to understand disasters, risks and hazards. The superhero boy rises in the air and disappears. Who is most vulnerable? What do we mean when we talk about resilience? The superhero girl and the boy look confused. And what do child rights have to do with all of this? Understanding disasters. Look around and you will see that nature is always moving and changing depending on where you live Every day, there might be rain, sun, wind or snow, trees fall down, the sea rises and falls, and the earth tremors. What is a hazard? Symbols of disaster appear within the circular frames. A hazard is an event or a process, either natural or human-made, that can cause harm to people, their belongings and their environment, if they do not take precautions. There are different types of hazards. Some are natural, such as earthquakes, hurricanes, volcanoes, floods, droughts and landslides. Others are caused by people, known as technological or human-made hazards. These include pollution and traffic or factory accidents. As you can see, some of the examples are not so clear-cut. We say a flood is natural, but sometimes a village floods because humans were dumping their rubbish upstream or cutting down trees. In the animation, many garbage bags are piled up under the sign, please do not litter. We say a wildlife is natural, but it may have been caused by someone dropping a cigarette in the forest. A hand puts out a cigarette in the woods. What is a disaster? A hazard can turn into a disaster, but not necessarily. Several things must happen at the same time. Let's take the example of a mudslide. 1. People build their houses near a hazard. For example, at the foot of a volcano, on a muddy and unstable slope, or right on the beach. 2. The hazard occurs. For example, heavy rains and then an earthquake, leading to a landslide. 3. The hazard turns into a disaster, causing lots of damage to people and their belongings. So, a disaster is a really bad event, when lots of people are hurt or killed and their belongings are damaged or destroyed. When a disaster happens, local communities often can't cope on their own. National governments and local authorities must support people when disaster strikes. Often, people also need help from neighbours and friends in other areas or countries. 
When this happens, we say that the community's capacity has been exceeded. Capacity means all the strengths, resources and ideas that people in the community have to protect themselves and their belongings against the effects of a disaster. The disaster victim family, looking up and waiting, rejoice. The package hung down by a cable from a cable reads provisions on it. What is the vulnerability? Some things make people, communities, cities or countries more likely than others to experience the harmful effects of a hazard. This is what we call vulnerability. People might be vulnerable for one or a combination of reasons. For example, being old, sick, pregnant or having a disability makes some people in your community more vulnerable. You can probably run faster from a wildfire than your grandmother. People might be especially vulnerable because they can't read the warning notices or understand the messages on the radio. Living right by the river in badly constructed buildings might make you vulnerable and so might living in a new area where you don't know your way around or speak the language. The poorest people are generally the most vulnerable. For example, they don't have a choice as to where they live because they need to be close to their work or they cannot afford stronger materials to build their houses. Also, they often have not been taught how to prevent a hazard from turning into a disaster or how to respond when a disaster strikes. Vehicles. The police, the fire department and governments have a very important role to play in making sure that vulnerable people are not so exposed. When we talk about exposure, we mean the number of people and their belongings who face risks in hazard zones. Things like climate change and more people coming to live in an area can increase exposure. As you can see, some types of vulnerability can be prevented while others can't. It is important to think about who is vulnerable in your community so you can help them out. A community that meets and works together, talk about the hazards they face, is less vulnerable to disasters than a community that doesn't discuss possible dangers or leaves people out. Sitting on chairs, arrayed in a circle, men and women are talking to each other as the superhero boy with the cape is standing. What is risk? Risk is the chance that a hazard will turn into a disaster. We can't always prevent hazards, but we can reduce the chances of hazards becoming disasters. This is what disaster risk reduction is about. For example, we can build in certain ways or with certain materials that will make houses and schools less likely to fall down in a hurricane. Or stop cutting down trees so landslides are less likely. Disaster risk reduction also helps communities and countries in the long term, what we call sustainable development. For example, a river that is kept clean because people don't dump their rubbish is less likely to cause a big flood in the village, but also better in the long term because the clean water is healthier for people to drink, cook and wash, and there will be more fish for the villagers to eat and sell at market. Now you know about hazards, disasters, vulnerability and risk, we can talk about the Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction. The Sendai framework applies to all kinds of hazards, natural and human-made. Drawing off two volcanoes becoming active, one has a house on its skirts, while the other has nothing around it. It also applies to everyone, everywhere, national and local governments, communities and families all over the world. Governments and chiefs have an important responsibility to protect people, but everyone else does too. Close communities where everyone listens and look out for each other are less vulnerable to disasters and more resilient when disaster strikes. What's new? Before the Sendai framework, there was another international plan to reduce disaster losses. The Hyogo Framework for Action. It was developed and agreed on by governments, international agencies, disaster experts and others in 2005, following the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami. The Sendai Framework builds on these good ideas and introduces new important ones.
While the narration runs in the conversation window, next to it appear circles with disaster symbols within them. First, it emphasizes the importance of disaster risk management as opposed to disaster management. As we know, a hazard doesn't have to turn into a disaster. The risk is the chance that it will. So paying lots of attention to risks and how to reduce them is a good way to stop the hazard from turning into a disaster in the first place. Narration runs inside the conversation window. Next to it, circles appear target boards with arrows shot right into the bullseye. Second, the Sendai framework sets out seven clear global targets and speaks about how to check that we're achieving them. As the narration runs inside the conversation window, next to it, circles appear with disaster symbols inside them. Third, the Sendai framework talks about a bigger range of hazards. As we know, hazards can be natural or human-made, and we need to think about lots of types of possible danger. Also, the Sendai framework talks about health and education as an important part of resilience. Making sure that people in your community are healthy and informed before the hazard and that they know how to stay healthy and access information means they are less vulnerable. Next to the transcript are drawings of men Fourth, and women. The Sendai framework pays attention to the role everyone has to play to make sure the plan becomes a reality. Buildings appear. It isn't just about governments and local leaders knowing what to do. Disaster risk reduction is everyone's business. The superhero boy What's has a megaphone role? in his hand. Worldwide, there are 2.2 billion people under the age of 18. Grown-ups need to listen to you. Experience shows that children have unique knowledge and ideas about the risks in their communities and how to address them. You have the right to be heard, to participate in the decisions affecting your lives, whoever you are and wherever you are. When children are at the centre of disaster risk reduction, in groups and as individuals, activities are for children and by children. Child-centred disaster risk reduction can enable the fulfilment of many important rights, including your rights to life, education and health. Governments, agencies and other adults in your communities need to listen to your point of view so that you are better protected and so that your energy, knowledge and ideas can help protect everyone. What does the Sendai framework expect to do? When the plan is implemented by people like you, it will mean that fewer disasters happen. When a hazard does turn into a disaster, it will be less severe and people will recover faster. Most importantly, future disasters will take fewer lives, fewer jobs and cause less damage to farms, homes, health and the environment. This will mean that disasters will have less serious and less expensive long-term impacts for everyone. What's the overall goal? The overall goal is to prevent new risk and reduce the risk that's already there. Remember, risk is the chance that a hazard will turn into a disaster. The plan will do this by seeing what needs to change in lots of different areas of people's lives so that they face less hazards, are less vulnerable to disasters and better prepared when a hazard does happen. This all means they will be more resilient, stronger and more flexible, so they are good at bouncing back when something scary happens. Like a bendy palm tree, it gets blown around when the wind is strong but afterwards, it's okay. Target boards side by side with arrows shot right in the bullseyes of each. Seven clear targets. Targets are what we want to achieve together. They allow us to check that the plan is working. Target one. The superhero boy counts with his fingers. When disasters do happen, make sure that far fewer people die. We will check that the plan is working by seeing that fewer people die out of every 100,000 people in 220-230 compared to 2005-215. to Target 2. In the whole world, the plan aims to make sure that far fewer people's lives are affected by disasters. Again, we'll check it's working by counting how many people are affected in 210-230 compared to 2005 to 2015. Target 3. 
reduce how much money is spent responding to disasters and fixing up afterwards, and how much money is lost when the disaster strikes because, for example, people miss work or shops fall down. Yellow coins are flowing from above into a piggy bank. Target 4. Make sure that disasters cause less damage to essential services such as schools, hospitals, train lines and major roads. We will do this by developing their resilience. For example, making sure all schools are built on solid ground using strong materials by 2030. Target 5. Two men's arms shaking hands in front of a drawing of the globe. Make sure lots more countries have national and local disaster risk reduction strategies by 2030. Target 6. Make sure countries work together to prevent hazards from turning into risks. For example, if people in Japan have great ideas about making buildings safer in earthquakes, they should share these with people in Nepal, so that they can do the same thing. If people in St Lucia know about digging trenches between their crops, so that heavy rains run off instead of causing mudslides, they should share these ideas with people in Guatemala. Target 7. Increase the number of people who can access and understand early warning systems. This means people need to cooperate and share information. Symbols of communication instruments form a circle. For example, if the people in one island know a typhoon is coming, they must share this information on the radio, TV and social media. Four priorities for action. 1. Understanding disaster risk. The Sendai framework aims to make sure that people like you understand disasters, hazards, risks and vulnerability. This will help everyone to spot dangers, to prepare for hazards and prevent them from becoming disasters and to keep themselves, others and their belongings safe. 2. Strengthening disaster risk governance to manage disaster risk. The Sendai framework aims to make sure that local leaders, governments, chiefs and international agencies are better organised when it comes to disasters. On a platform with the United Nations logo in front, a diplomat is talking to a crowd. They should all have clear plans and established ways of working to prevent disasters from happening and to respond when a disaster strikes. 3. Investing in disaster risk reduction for resilience. The Sendai framework aims to make sure that enough money is spent on disaster risk reduction by both public and private actors. It recognises that this is a good way to spend money in the long term because it contributes to sustainable development. For example, it might cost a bit more to build a new school from really good, strong material. However, when an earthquake strikes, the strong school will be OK, so you won't miss your education. The school won't have to be rebuilt and the whole country will do better in the long run. Three glass jars full of coins bearing inscriptions, disaster risk reduction, education and health respectively. 4. Enhancing disaster preparedness for effective response and to build back better in recovery, rehabilitation and reconstruction. The Sendai framework aims to make sure that everyone is ready when hazards strike so that responses are more effective and better organised. When families, communities and countries are fixing everything that broke in a disaster, the Sendai framework aims to help them build back better for next time. Now you can share the superpower of knowledge and teach your friends, family and community about disaster risk reduction. A hand that extends a book entitled Sendai Framework for Disaster Risk Reduction for Children and another hand receiving it. Logos line up. Children in a changing climate. Child Fund. Plan International. Save the Children. UNICEF. World Vision. UNISDR. This film is commissioned by AFAD with the support and permission of UNISDR. Appears on the screen.